being a collaborative leader, whether it be in a small company or a large one, is bringing out the best in everybody in your team. What I found in, in leadership is to bring out talents, viewpoints, other perspectives can make a leader really in, in the organization stronger. Over the last few years, raised a huge equity fund, did a securitization on this portfolio, um, really brought to bear our efforts of our team, our partners, our investors, to do a deal that we really didn't think was possible when we started this company 20 years ago. I'm in the aviation finance industry, and aviation is one of the most cyclical businesses out there. And one can imagine with COVID, with rising interest rates, there's a lot of uncertainty in the business. But what comes out of uncertainty is opportunity. One of the things that, that we've seen in our industry is people rising up and, and working to confront those challenges. Every one of my professors at the GSM was fantastic, but I think that the professor that made the biggest impact on me was Professor Sai. Professor Sai taught me two things. One, that you have to be able to explain something to your grandma. If you can't explain something to your grandma, then you really don't understand it. The second thing he taught me is it's the last 5% of everything that counts. Everyone can do 95% of something. It's that last 5% that takes good to great. Both of those tips were nothing to do with statistics, really, but everything to do with life and professional development. My advice, especially in a really changing world like we have today, is to be flexible, be adaptable, be a good listener, be decisive, and most of all, and it's just, it, it never goes out of fashion, work hard. <laughs>